Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel BrainLogic and today we have really interesting and tricky challenge. We have 10 minus 4 and we have 8 divided by 4 inside parentheses. This is challenge you've ever seen. A lot of students might be saying, okay, subtraction, multiplication, division, so I learned this stuff in the third grade so I can easily solve this challenge. So right now, this is up to you. You can also pause the video and try to solve this challenge by yourself. What do you think is a correct answer to this challenge? A, B, C or D? It would be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video. But before solving this challenge, let's rewrite this challenge right here and let's think a little bit how can we solve this challenge correctly. 10 minus 4, we have 8 divided by, by 4. So here is our question. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, right here we have subtraction, so this is our subtraction, this is our multiplication right here, and right here we have division. So we have three mathematical mathematical operations. But here is the main thing. What is the correct order to do this problem? So from left to right, from right to left, maybe multiplication first, maybe division first, maybe subtraction first, and it turns into a big argument, because a lot of students argue with each other about a correct answer, a correct order of operation. And right now we're going to show you this order of operation. This is a PEMDAS order of operation, so the most popular order of operation in the world. All most popular internet libraries, calculators, most popular calculators works according to this PEMDAS order of operation. And right now, let's solve this challenge according to this order of operation and we will check, we'll check our answer. Because obviously, for example, if we have 10 minus 4 and we have 8, 8, divided by 4. Yeah, we have something like that. A lot of students say, okay, maybe from left to right, 10 minus 4, we have, we have 6, and we have right here 8 divided by 4, we have 2. So 6 times 2 equal to equal to 12, and this is one of these uh, solutions. A lot of students solve this challenge like that, maybe another combination, they multiply it first, and it turns into a big argument, because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? And right now, a little, a little bit about this PEMDAS. This PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom, so first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So the first step, the highest priority parentheses, the lowest priority addition and subtraction. So basically right now, uh, let's forget a little bit about this about this interpretation, about this solution as we have right here. So this is one uh, one example, yeah? And right now let's solve this challenge according to this PEMDAS because this is our randomly method. So let's write our question. So we have 10 minus 4 and 8 divided by 4 we have inside, inside parentheses. Really great. And right now Let's scan what do we have right here. We have a lot of mathematical operation, we have parentheses, and right now let's find all of the things right here. So we have right here subtraction, we have right here subtraction, yeah. And next we have uh, multiplication right here, okay, multiplication. Next we have parentheses. And the next thing is division, okay, division. Right now let's reject we don't have addition, we don't have exponents because we don't have like 8 square, 8 cube, we don't have any of those. Right now we have parentheses, we have multiplication, division and subtraction. As I told before, we need to look at it in a perspective from from top to the bottom, okay? Because parentheses has the highest priority. So right now let's find where do we have these parentheses. Let's look at it. Parentheses, we have here, we have parentheses right here. So our first step is to find parentheses, is to solve, is to evaluate the expression inside, inside parentheses. The next step, Let's find these parentheses. Parentheses is right here. Inside parentheses we have a very great expression for us because this is not a complicated expression. This is 8 divided by 4. Everyone can easily divide it. So inside parentheses we have division. So the next thing we need to divide 8 divided by 4. Let's do this right now. So we have right here 10 minus 4 and times 8 divided by 4 equal to equal to 2. So we complete we complete this division part. Right now the next step, what do we have right here? From the top to the bottom, we have multiplication and subtraction are the last, last steps right here, and multiplication has the higher position than subtraction. So we need to multiply 4 times 2. And as a result, we have 10 minus 4 times 2 equal to, equal to 8. Okay, and right now, very basic subtraction, so if this is our third step, and this is our fourth step. So we have 10 minus 8, which is equal to 
2 and this is option A. And right now, really important moment, because, for example, before we had this option C, we had 12, right now we have option A, we have 2, and it turns into a big argument, because a lot of students, like, don't know what is the correct answer, this A or this C right here, and right now here's my explanation. Take a look closely at this solution. Right here we divided, okay, let's do this, we divided, but before we subtracted 10 minus 4 which is really bad thing because subtraction is our last step right here, as you can see. So subtraction is all the time in the end, so in conclusion, subtraction. But in our case, we subtract it first. So this is a great solution with parentheses. For example, we have parentheses right here. Then this is a correct solution. So 10 minus 4 equal to, equal to 6. And right now, 8 divided by 4 equal to 2. So with parentheses, this is a great, a great solution. Without parentheses, of course, in our case, we don't have parentheses. So forget about this option C, which is really big mistake in terms of math, because we solve this challenge absolutely randomly. Let's look closely what do we have right here. Right here we subtracted uh, in the end, yeah, we divided at first inside parentheses and we multiplied after this parenthesis. So everything is absolutely, everything is absolutely great. We have 10 minus 4 times 2 in the end, so 10 minus 8 equal to 2. So everything is absolutely great for us when we solve this challenge according to this PEMDAS. So correct answer to this challenge is option A. Let's write our final answer to this challenge. So our answer, this is A. I hope you understand this explanation. You can, you can also check this solution in your calculator, but don't use a regular calculator because, you know, Sometimes happen that uh, those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in. For example, you plug in this question 10 minus 4 in your calculator, and some of those calculators, uh, you know, uh, subtracted 10 minus 4 at first because the calculator doesn't know what do we have further. So 10 minus 4, we have 6 right here. And as a result, it changed everything, it, it gives you a wrong answer. So as a result, you need to you need to divide at first inside parentheses, then multiply and then subtract. And basically you need to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem. So, or internet libraries, you need to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem and then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation, then your calculator, okay, I have subtraction, I have multiplication, I have division. So I know everything about it, I know everything about this mathematical operation, so I uh, divide at first inside parentheses, then multiplication, then next subtraction. So as you can see here, Here's our explanation according to this PEMDAS. So parentheses at first, next division inside parentheses, the next multiplication, and the next step is subtraction. So as you can see, here's our here's our solution this, to this challenge. I hope you learned this. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new about this PEMDAS order of operation. And definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel about really interesting questions every day. So this is a great and relaxing web content for everyone. You can easily check your answers in every type of of content in every mathematical uh, challenge every day and it's really great i guess because this is really important to know about the simple thing in terms of math and when you know a simple thing you can easily learn something more 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 difficult for you this is really important so thank you for your time see you in the next videos also write a question down into the comment section write your suggestion down into the comment section and have a great day